Hi everybody and welcome to this mini series of training discussing the light modes that we can use in the world of skin fluorescence to analyze our client's skin. If you know me, my name is Renee Serbon, dermal educationist, and skin fluorescence is one of a few things that I am hugely, hugely passionate about. So what I want to do in this session today is to discuss a few daylight mode. It is a really great tool to just establish rapport with your client so that they can see where they're at and daylight mode is something they understand very simply because it's what they see in the mirror every day. So give me one moment as I move to split screen so I can show you what I can see on my iPad as I am discussing this with you. Once we've captured our client's images, we can pull them up on the big screen for review. Now in daylight mode, when I'm using my Observe 520 app, I can sit next to my client and have a discussion about each different light mode. So on screen right now, you are looking at the daylight mode. So daylight mode should carry no surprises. It is what your client can see in the mirror every single day. Um, but it is a wonderful tool to establish baseline, understanding when your, where your client is when they first come to you for services and advice and wanting to overcome their uh, skin concerns. And so once we've um, done that, we can obviously take them through all the different light modes to show them what we can see underneath the skin. But for today, we're just going to stick to daylight mode. So this is what I explain to my clients is that no surprises. It is what they can see in the mirror every single day. And you and I as skin professionals can certainly use this light mode to establish a lot of information already before we even look at the other light modes. So on the screen here, we can see some anomalies of the skin. You can see the corneocyte compaction. If I can bring my cursor over, you can see the corneocyte compaction sitting on the surface of the skin here. I can spot a hemangioma. I can see a scar. I can see some inflammation of the skin, some open comedones, and I generally in this picture looking at it see more red than I see um, most other things. So there's a few anomalies to take note of and at this point in time I simply do nothing but take note of it um, because I'm going to concur what I see in all the other modes as we go through that um, in the consultation process. Okay, so that is daylight mode. It is simply there to um, capture, you know, what your client can see in the mirror every single day. And I do want to take one second to show you some cool technology within this app is if you do anything like Botox, fillers, lash treatments, anything like that at a basic level it is really easy to bring your before and before and after images up so that you can do comparative images and you can change the way that the image is split right so that you can show a before and after very quick and easily of things um, like lash treatments or Botox or fillers or anything that you might be offering in your business. I think that is pretty cool. You can also see the difference when your client have their eyes open and when they have their eyes closed. And my encouragement is certainly to keep it consistent. So I, my preference is eyes closed so I can actually assess um, what is going on in the lash line. That is the first the deterioration of um, skin begins as we start to age. So I prefer eyes closed versus eyes open for clinical assessment of the skin on the eyes as well. So I hope that was really informative for you. Read the rest of the email and if you have any questions, never hesitate to reach out. Talk to you later.